Hey guys, Mike at Patriot Coin Rings. Okay, so I got another uh, package from uh, Legacy. Uh, we don't know what it is. I, I actually, I heard that, uh, I talked to Larry over at Legacy Brand and he said that he was going to send us some more stuff. Uh, he liked how you guys all got involved last time in the last video and so they wanted to sponsor us again, which is pretty awesome and I thank you, Larry. Um, and you guys are going to see what it is. I have no idea yet. So... Um, okay, so they've got one package marked giveaway, and the other package is for our demo. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to leave this one that says giveaway all sealed up for the giveaway. Remember, if you guys uh, are new here, uh, all this goes to um, our Wounded Warriors um, through the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, most of all the proceeds uh, that are made are donated to the Wounded Warrior Project uh, to benefit them. So that's what this is all about. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask them in the comment section below. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, see what we've got here. Okay, I know what those are. Those are uh, the uh, rubber drums. Uh, for uh, for being able to mill out the sides of the rings and those are really awesome that that one I think uh, was a personal send because I, uh, I had asked uh, Larry if he could send me some extras uh, man if you haven't if you guys haven't bought those yet I'm gonna put a link right here uh, you guys got to check that out um, honestly it has made my life so much better since since I started using those uh, for making just kill, killer uh, coin rings. So check check this link out. You guys got to go check that product out on their site. Okay, so here's what's inside. Got it packaged. It looks it looks from the outside to be a punch kit. Uh, but they just sent us a punch kit previously, so I, I seriously doubt that it would be the same same one. So let's just tear into it and find out. Shizzle. Eric, come here, check this out, man. Check out these punches. Oh, very cool. No, no, look at look at look how small. Oh wow, we can't even do the pennies with those. Ah. Very nice. We got some punches in here that are like really, really small. Dude. Those really I, I kind of used these the other day. Okay, so look, this, this is what it looks like to me. This is, this is something Brad, I've never seen this before. Um, but it looks like, a, like an all-in-one kit where you can do everything all at once. Um, so here's, here's your punch set. And obviously it's made so that you could, uh, oops, so that you go ahead and put, put your punch in here. And I'll just verify all that. All right, Eric, come here. Come here, I want to show you how to uh, do this. Okay, so look, seriously, I had to pause the camera just so that I could actually figure this out. Uh, this is a brand new tool that I've never seen anyone come out with yet. Uh, Legacy, you're always on top of stuff, and Legacy is always like coming up with brand new types of things. And I had to pause for like five minutes just to uh, figure out what the heck to do with this thing. And it's, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna have Eric actually demonstrate it outside. So take that, take that apart though, and, and just get get the feel for it. See how that feels. I thought that was kind of crazy how it, when it the coin fit without a spacer. Sweet. So we got the release side facing downwards. You can drop in. Alexa, stop. Set the coin 
line up top on center, about center. So it actually it's actually sitting right on right on top. It doesn't seem like it would be the right thing to do, but it, but that's what it says to do. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And there it goes. It falls right in. Yeah, it did say in the instructions to make sure you kind of like wobble it around yeah. a little bit and make sure that it's dead center. Keep in mind, this is without us annealing the coin, so it just punched through a cold coin. It went through pretty easy. Yeah. One of the things I would think that um, if they if they put just a little angle on the, on the punch, it'd probably cut through smoother. Yeah. But uh, that went through pretty. It looked like it pretty easy. Yeah, it looks pretty centered. So I'll take a look there. Oh, it's tight. I did it without it. No, no spacers or nothing. Yeah. I said we put it up, put it upside down, and actually try it. Go go the other way. There you go, on the flat side, yeah. and then use the hammer to pop it out. Cool. See that center. Looks good to me. What, what about uh, any burring? See any burring on there? Not that I can feel. Slight, slightly, but not much. Just could be cleaned up pretty quick. But uh, I mean, it was just a real. It was still a real yeah, clean a, cut. Yeah, real nice and clean. All right, guys, so overall thoughts. Home run, guys. Legacy, you hit a home run again. Uh, you guys are always on top of this stuff and always coming up with stuff that's new. I have never even seen anyone uh, come up with this design, so this has got to be really unique to you, I would assume. Um, it kind of blew me away at first. I didn't know what I was working with when I, when I opened up that package, and I had to take a couple minutes to read your instructions and find out what it was that we were doing here. And I thought I had like a coning, uh, some kind of coning uh, uh, dome or something, and I was just amazed. Uh, bottom line, guys, instead of three industry standards, which would be normally your three eighths, your half inch, and your three quarter, they've come up with an additional quarter size punch uh, for the real small coins uh, or coins that you want to have more detail on, as well as five eighths. Um, so you've got now five options as far as holes that you can punch. Throw away that one from Harbor Freight. You don't need that one anymore. I'm throwing mine away now. I just, it's done. It's done. It's a wrap. Um, insane. And then I thought, I got, I got to admit that at first I was, I was a little kind of iffy about um, uh, when I saw that you had to kind of position your coin, basically the spacer adapter, where you position it over the top and, and it comes down. I thought, you know, was that really going to work? And it worked like a charm. I didn't lose one coin. I, I did several demonstrations, or several that I didn't even include in the video. Um, I did about I did about all oh, 10, 10 different coins, and I didn't lose one of them. I, all ten coins came out beautiful. Um, dead center punch. I actually used my uh, little meter gauge just to just to uh, double check everything. It was perfect all the way around. Uh, barely any burring at all, if any. And you gotta you gotta remember that I was doing this on on cold coins. I wasn't using uh, annealed coins, which which if you want to soften up the coin first, anneal it first, and then do the punch. That'll make it even smoother. So when you hear that real loud pop uh, when I'm pushing through on the six ton, if that bothers you, you could always uh, just anneal the coin before you do it. Um, uh, then uh, you guys got rid of the spacers. There's, there's no need for a spacer. I'm like, you know, wow, I'm kind of dumbfounded right now that, that I don't even have to have a spacer anymore. Uh, so, so that other punch that, uh, that we gave away last time in the last video, I love it. It's a, it's a great punch. 
and then it had all the spacers in the world and then and then you come out with something like this and it's like wow you know what, what's next what are you guys going to do next um i don't know what to tell you guys if you guys as far as you guys watching this video comment below and tell me your thoughts let me let me know what you think i mean i i'm blown away personally and and i'm that that is going to be one that is already outside I, eric eric's working with it right now making making our coin rings with it as we speak uh and i can see he's got like a smirk on his face and he's like so happy that he's got this new new thing the relief on there also not to forget that 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 relief was a fantastic idea i'm going to mark mine um i'm probably going to take a powder coating to it a little later and put some powder coating on one side just so it marks for me you use a permanent mark or whatever you want just so i know which side is the relief side and which one's not um yeah, that's something you guys could do but you guys can own one now um remember this is really easy to do if you guys are here for the contest um we were given one to give away uh and uh yeah and that's an unopened pack that's going out to you guys um if you i mean who's not going to want this all you got to do subscribe like the page and comment below that's it uh subscribe to this channel and if you don't win don't worry about it. Every month we got giveaways. And as long as you guys are commenting and it's very active and you guys really like, like the stuff that you see, um, we're going to get a, a lot more uh, manufacturers are constantly going to want to be able to, uh, to sponsor us, right? And, and what I would appreciate is if you sent a, a message over to Legacy to Larry and Karen and let them know that you saw uh, their video here on our on our YouTube channel with Patriot Coin Rings because that lets them know that you guys are, are showing brand awareness that you guys actually saw their product win or lose you saw it and and it it's how we get more and more products to give to you guys and that's exactly why they sent us some more stuff so thank you Larry appreciate it Karen um, uh, you guys, uh, I'm going to put the comment right here, and then also down below in the comment section, you'll see the instructions if you if you didn't follow along. But if you just say hi to Larry, hi to Karen, and, and that you saw their product here, uh, that'd be wonderful. Uh, but you do have to like the page, subscribe, and comment below. If you didn't see the last video, go check it out. Um, we had a fantastic giveaway. I had... Um, Probably over 14,000 plus people that viewed the page and only something like 70 or 80 something like that people that actually took the time to comment and you don't have to write much more than hey I'm in I you know I want to be part of the a giveaway I'm interested uh, but I'd love to see conversations I'd love to see what you guys think about this product whatever happens you guys know that however many conversations you got coming in you're in for the drawing because the drawing comes from a randomizer, a YouTube randomizer that's going to select from the comments below. So you can't win unless you, you comment. Make sure you don't forget to comment this time. I think a lot of people forgot to comment on that last one. And, and the odds were pretty fantastic for those that left comments uh, to win. So don't let it slip by. Comment at the bottom. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for improving on this on this item, uh, you know, send a polite uh, message on there. and. And make your recommendations. If uh, if you love it just as it is, put it on there. Uh, and let me know if you guys have any other manufacturers. What manufacturer? What manufacturers would you like me to contact uh, to let them know that we're doing these giveaways and you'd like to see a giveaway from them? Uh, Lamborghini, I turned me down already, so you know you can't do nothing about that. Uh, so did Bugatti. But anyways, uh, thanks a lot for uh, joining us again, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. All right? You guys take care, and good luck to you on the, on the contest. <laughs>